I don't know, boy. Them Steelers better get going soon. I don't understand. I don't understand. Come on, baby. Let's get this baby fired up. God, good thing it ain't muddy in here. All right. No, oh, come on. Why won't it start? Why won't I got lights? I don't got nothing. I could see rock dusting coming up. Harvey! 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 Harvey, you gotta save me! Yeah, like the guy thought. That's the section here, Jerry. We run two shuttle cars in this section. Oh, I see. Uh, I suppose this will be one of the jobs uh, I'll probably be doing, won't it, Joe? Yeah, it probably will be. How'd your new minor training go for you, Jerry? You know, I was pretty good. You know, I, I took a CPR course a couple years ago, and I kind of needed to brush up on that. I'm sure it'll help. Hey, good. That's good for you. You never know when you just might need it. Let's go up this way. Harvey, old pal, old oh, buddy no. of mine. <laughs> Best friend? What do you, you need now, Ron? Oh, my buggy's down. My buggy's down. And you know what happens when my buggy's down. I'm going to have to yeah, shovel yeah. my way. What do you think's wrong with it? Hey, they pay you big money for these things. Come help me out. And I mean it fast. We got to do this quick. OK, that's good. All right. What a man. What a man. What a man. There. Joe's coming down with a new miner today, and we we don't get this done. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I tell you. There's a spot we taped up here on Monday. I'll bet you that's it. Oh, come on. Where is that stupid... Hey, thing? here it is. Oh, I hope that's it. Ron, you go cut the power. All right. Right here. Hey, Jerry, looks like one of our electricians up here, Harvey Rolls. Hi, Harv. Hi, boss. How you doing? Pretty good. I'd like to meet Jerry Russell, new employee. This is Harvey Rolls, one hey, of our hey, electricians Jerry. here. Hi. What's the matter? Ah, uh, problem with the cable. I sent Ron up to kill the power. You sent Ron up to kill the power? Well, you're supposed to go up there and pull the power. I know. Now go! That Ron. Oh man. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one. Okay, Bill, power's back on. Don't touch him! I gotta shut off power and get help. Get oh. away with him. 
What? You gotta, you gotta no, get no, him no, off. No, no, you gotta no, get no, him no, off. No, no, stay back. Go to the phone. Make a call outside for help. Get an ambulance. Tell them we've had an electrocution. Go. Here, stay with them, Jerry. Stay with them. I don't have a thing. I don't have a thing. Could you handle the same situation that Jerry was faced with? When was the last time you were trained in CPR? Do you remember it? Do you think you could handle that situation? It's obvious that Jerry was prepared to handle his situation. Your mind safety training can be as important to you as you want it to be. When it comes to CPR, whether it's an accident at home or an accident at work, it's important to know. It's important to understand. Look at the value of what that could really be. Obviously, accident prevention is very, very important as well. Next time, I'll cut the power and lock it out. To better understand the techniques of CPR, Jerry's going to run through the basics for us. Thank you, Ron. I hope everybody would take advantage of taking a course in CPR. However, I'm going to go over the basics now with our friend Chris Clean. Number one, you need to survey the scene for safety. Protect yourself. It was pretty obvious in the video. Two, you need to approach your victim. Shake and shout. If there's no response, you need to go into the ABCs. Airway, breathing, circulation. Airway, we need to check the airway. We use the head tilt, chin lift. We're looking for expansion of the chest. No expansion, we need to do B, breathing. Seal off the nose and breathe two quick breaths into the victim. After the two breaths, we need to check for a pulse. We slide off the, the neck area to the carotid artery and check for a pulse. If there's no pulse, we need to start CPR. First off, we need to find the lower edge of the rib cage. We need to work our way up to the sternum. This is our landmark for starting compressions. We need to do a series of 15 compressions. A couple things to remember is keep our fingertips off the rib cage. We also need to compress down on the chest approximately one and a half to two inches. Keep the elbows straight. I'm going to go through a cycle now. We'll see how it's done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Back up to the head. Head tilt, chin lift, squeeze the nose. Two breaths. Find our landmark. Fifteen compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Back to the head, two breaths. Four complete cycles, we need to check our carotid pulse again. Remember, once you start CPR, never stop. Unless the victim revives in some way, 
Better trained people come and assist you, or you're just too exhausted to continue. And please seriously consider a formal CPR training class. Harvey, you appreciate CPR training, huh? I sure do, Ron. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Hey, I understand you got another job. Aren't you operating bulldozers somewhere? Yeah, I am, and I'm not going to let you know where I'm working. Good thing it ain't an electric one, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
don't move him. Don't run, run. Don't move him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you know his name? Huh? No. No. He. Hey, buddy. Wait. Whoa. Look up here. Hey. Oh my God. Okay, he is. He's breathing. He's breathing. Okay. Come on. What do you got here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. I have a heartbeat. I have a heartbeat. Okay. We have breath and pulse. Okay. What? Bleeding anywhere? He's oh, bleeding up here. Yeah, I saw that. It didn't appear to be too bad. It looks superficial to me. Please. Hey, I need you some help down here. Do you have a first aid kit here? Do you have anything I could work with? I, I got, got this. A I got a first aid kit. Okay. Wait, wait here. Thanks. Wait here. Okay. I'm going to have to cut this. Sorry, buddy. You'll thank me for it some. Oh, we have a dandy here. Okay. We have a dandy here. Oh, man. Okay, what do you got in there? No, uh, I don't know. Come on, let's go. Open them up. Oh, jeez. Okay, here. See the gloves? Put a pair of gloves on. Put the gloves on you. Gloves? What do you need gloves for? Stay clean here. Put them on. Atta boy. How can you doing up there, partner? Can you hear me? Come on, talk to me. You should see your leg. It no, is no, no, unbelievable. No, 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 just be calm here. Okay, your gloves on. Get yeah. them up around your wrist. Get them on right. On Pull the them wrist. up around your wrist. wrist. Okay. Come on. We're going to be okay here. Okay. All right. What do we need gloves? I'll tell you what you're going to do for me. You I got to do this. On top of my hand. Put it on. Uh, out of point. Push. Okay? Just oh, hang on. man. Okay, now. What else do we have Ooh. here? Do you have anything else in this kit of any There's Alka-Seltzers. Yeah, what the hell? Well, there's nothing in there. I got a first aid okay, book. Okay, stay with the pressure there, buddy. Hold on, all I right? I got a first aid book. Hold on. Okay, Ron, keep oh, pressure on man. it. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Where's I have my the shirt. ambulance? Just settle. We have an accident on 248. We need an ambulance. Immediate, please. Settle down. I have my shirt. We're going to put the shirt around it. There's nothing in your first aid kit that I can use. I just need to get in here just a little bit. Oh, Let's man. use the shirt. It's going to be okay. Are you okay? boy. Talk to him. Are you okay? What's his name? I don't know what his name is. Who is he? Man, you should see the hill you came down, man. Don't talk. Just talk calm and nice and easy. Okay, let's get the shirt around him like this. What do you want? Nothing. Just stay with me here and push on it. Just Am I hurting him? What happens? No, I hurt him. Doing fine. Just doing fine. Just going to tie a knot here. This is going to help us until that first aid kit comes here. Roger, once they get it. He's really. It's going to work out. Please. Okay, everybody remain calm here, okay? Take a deep breath. Can you hear me up there, buddy? Huh? Talk to me, that a boy moan. Hey, we're in charge. We got, I got a down. first aid book. Okay, Ron, I've got a, my shirt around here. This is going to act as a pressure dressing and apply pressure to that bad bleeding area. What I want you to do is look up around his body for any other big puddles of blood or any other problem. I don't know what I'm looking for. Just look for puddles of blood or some big blood stains in his clothing. Look, look, look. And see if Won't I break his back no, if no, I no. touch him? Just, just go easy. Just go easy. Can you hear me, buddy? Can you hear me? Talk to him. Look and see. Do you see anything? No, I don't. Okay. Well, I tell you, do you have a blanket in your car? No, I got coveralls. Yeah, give me them. Give me those coveralls. Oh, That'll be man. fine. Take them. Okay, okay. Okay, no. We'd go slow and easy. What do you want me to do? Just lay them up across him. Just okay. like this. There you go. Cover him up. That a boy. That's good. Nurse, can, do you, is his mouth covered up? What do you want me to do? Anything I can do? Yeah, there's something you can do. Give me my hard hat, Ron. Okay, now, we are trying to stabilize this guy. He does have a breathing. He does have a heartbeat. We're trying to control this bleeding, and we are treating for shock. Get up and walk around that truck over there. It kind of concerns me. Make sure it's not going to pose a hazard to us. Look around for dripping gasoline. Look around for the possibility of it to roll on us or give us any trouble here. All right. Man, is this thing smashed? I don't smell anything. Nothing in it. Looks okay. 
It looks pretty good. I don't Ron, know. Ron, I'm having trouble getting this thing stopped. Okay, what we're gonna have to do is put a pressure point on. I can't reach it from this position. Now look, I think we gotta be careful neck and back injuries. Let's get a place to roll him. Get the coveralls down beside me, Ron. Lay them down. You're gonna beside roll him? Yeah, I have to get him onto his back. I can't reach his pressure point from here. Oh man. Get the coveralls. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll him this way. I need your help. Look at me. You go up and you kneel at his head. Go up to his head and kneel down. Now, you're going to hold his head, Ron, while we roll him. And we're going to roll him like a log. Open your hands up wide. Open them up wide. And put them on each side of his head. Okay, now when we roll, Ron, we're going to roll this way. I need you to help. You're going to have to count. You're going to be the boss here. I don't know if I Stay can do this. Me. Stay with me. Hey, buddy, can you hear me? Yeah. Stay with me. We're going to roll you on your back. Now, when I tell you, you count to three and you say, we're going to go, Joe. Count to three and we're going to go. We're going to roll him on his, on his back. This way, Ron. Oh, man. This way. Okay, now say it, Ron. Say one, two, three. We're going this way. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Roll him, Ron. Don't let go. Stay right with him. Roll him like a log. Roll him on his back. boy. Hold that head and don't let go, Ron. Don't let go. Okay, let's push on the wound. Pressure point. Come on. So how's he doing? Hey, Ron, I, I do think it's slowing down. I think it's slowing down a lot. You hear that, Harvey? Slowing down. Looks like you're going to be OK. Yeah, I took care of you pretty good, didn't I? Huh? Do I know my stuff or what? Yeah, I'm telling you, you're going to be OK. Come on, I really think the bleeding's going to stop. It's stopping, and I think the ambulance should be here soon. Harvey, Harvey, hang in. Hang in, Harvey. The ambulance will be here real soon. Things are going to work out for the best. Ron, thanks a million for what you've done to help me. You've done a great job. Thanks. I appreciate your help. Good luck, Harvey.